who do you say that I am? Let's see if you can guess who this is. She lives in a palace called Buckingham Palace. She wears a crown on her head. She's called, what can you guess? Elizabeth? Who is it? Can you guess? It's the Queen. <clears throat> okay, let's even guess this next one. He has a friend called Eeyore and a friend called Piglet and he has a friend called Owl and Donkey and Kanga and Roo and he lives in the Hundred Acre Wood and he likes honey. I mean he really, really likes honey and he likes it so much that every morning he has to do his stoutness exercises. Who is it? Winnie the Pooh. Who am I? So he was born 2000 years ago in a place called Bethlehem. His mother was Mary and he also had a dad called Joseph and he was born in a manger. Who is it? It's Jesus. What do we say about Jesus? Who is he? Well, some people knew that he was a carpenter and the son of a carpenter, or someone who makes things with wood and builds things. And some people uh, knew him as a great teacher and then to some people, especially people who were very lonely, he was their friend. And some people who were poorly or hurting, he would come and heal them. So he was known as a healer. He could make you heal, healed on your body, but also if you were hurting inside, he would touch you and heal you. He knew him as a healer. And other people knew him as a friend and some people said he was a great prophet he, he spoke the words of God and so Jesus says who do you say that I am and Peter says well, you are all these things you are our friend you are a healer you are a great teacher but you are also the Christ what does the Christ mean? It means the king. Christ means king. Jesus' surname is not Christ. He's not called Mr. Christ. He is Jesus King. And that's who we believe Jesus is. He is the true king of heaven and earth. <clears throat> Maybe some of you know the story, the Narnia stories, and there's a great lion, and his name is Aslan, and he's the true king king of Narnia and when the true king comes well winter is over and spring comes and people have hope in their hearts and it's good news when the true king comes we believe that Jesus is our true king I wonder what ways in which you know Jesus he wants you to know him in all these different ways he wants you to know him as your friend you can talk to any time you like, on your own, or when you come to church. He is our brother. See, everyone has a family in Jesus, and Jesus is your older brother, and he makes me your brother too, and he makes everyone in church your brother too. And he is a healer. He helps us. His love is in all our doctors and nurses, but also we can ask him for healing and strength. He can make us feel whole and good inside as well. He's someone who forgives us when we do things wrong. He can help mend our hearts. But it's also really good, really good news to know that he is the true king, that he is the Christ. He is true king of heaven and earth. He's your king and mine. I want to say a prayer for us now and can you join me and say amen at the end. 
Lord Jesus, there are lots of ways we know you. As our friend, as our healer, healer, as our brother, as the one who saves us, the one who is always alongside us. And may we have the joy of knowing that you are the true King of heaven and earth. Amen.